Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know, man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way
place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. 'Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. 'Cause I found my way. doing tonight uh sorry it took me a little longer to get on uh server purge was done so i had a little bit more to get set up uh get uh stuff in the vehicle prepared um you know all that stuff get my inventory back up i still have to get food and water and stuff like that I haven't done any of that yet um but so that's where we're at um i'm going to go ahead and do the demographics for tonight obviously you can see it is snowing our first snow patrol of the year 
uh, for the season, I should say, because uh, we did have snow patrols earlier in the year. Oh, excuse me, earlier in the year, but first time for December, so probably a lot of accidents, probably a lot of stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but the demographics for tonight: we have 13 fire and EMS on tonight, 13 LEO, 12 civs, four dispatchers. One CSO of those people, four people said they're going to be two hours late, three people said one hour late, and two people said three hours late. Um, going down to the beats. There we go. Um, as it stands right now, um, I am the northern statewide detective. Tim, when he joins, he's still not on yet. Uh, so David83, when he comes down, he will be the south side down in the city area. Uh, detective for down there. Our CSO is X-ray 280. Supervisors tonight are Charlie 31, Lincoln 39, and Frank 59. Uh, Ted unit tonight is Pantaleon, Frank 58. That is uh, supervisor for two and three or three and four. Sorry about that. Is Jeff or Lincoln 39? 39. I'll be clear. Show right me there. Um, supervisor for like uh, 5 and 6 is going to be Frank 59. Stand by. Lincoln so, 39, 10, 6, 18, 15. That's where we got them guys. Uh, so for Area 3 and 4, we have Tom 96 and Tom 97. For Area 3 and Polito. And then for Area 4, we have Tom 65 and Adam 87. Um, which is running those. So... Looking for a good patrol tonight. Like I said, snow patrol, so people will be driving a little bit slower probably. Eight seven traffic, and, uh, multiple off-road vehicles, three zero one one take your lap. That was funny. Um, but yeah, that's where we're gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. Um eight seven confirm you're out on traffic and three zero one one. Thank you. Um, I tried setting up a, uh, a cold weather setup for the detectives. Um, I, I made a uniform and submitted it for approval. Um, has not been approved um, as of this time, so I'm just going to roll around in my white shirt. My right, typical detective. detective. So... That's Ocean where I'm at. Touch it. So we'll go from there. All right. Charles three one, same traffic. Charles three one, I'll touch. Control six. Tommy two traffic. Guy yeah, riding in the snow. Tommy two stand by. Nine David six four control. You can show me ten forty one ten eight. David six four. Show you ten forty one ten eight. Have a safe drop. Thank you. Thank you. Chili, 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 chili. As you can see, 
Hello, friend. All right. I'm gonna have to get down and get some pizzas and stuff. Hopefully I can get a call down in the city tonight if I can. That'll be what I do. See myself need more of those. Anyways, to the chat. Hey, Leah, it's all right. No worries on that one. I was a little late myself, so can't hold anyone accountable for that, right? Yeah, no code on. But the uh. There's really no winter uniform structure for a detective. So when trying to get my uniform approved that I thought would be a good one, uh, no official approval has come out, so I can't utilize it. Talk nope. to you, control traffic. Here Perfection. we are. Status. Code 4. Copy, code 4. Lots of traffic tonight. Five eight, go I'm gonna be at three zero three eight Panorama Drive on three Outlaw View. You're close back. Copy. I can just wonder this. Hey, Brad. Hey, seven. That sounds like vehicle that was out with. I'll head over there. Uh, detective work is actually going pretty well. Got a few larger cases I'm finishing up a lot of paperwork for. Uh, got a lot of leads, got some informants. Uh, you know, the good stuff. Oh, uh, not too bad. Hey, Zen. Officer Webster. Uh, that would be Webster Tom 96. Uh, if you're looking for his YouTube handle, I believe it's hashtag hell. Okay, Frank 59 to back trap. 3038, head around. Five. Okay. Copy. Frank 5 will be out with three subjects. Uh, Webster is his first name. I want to say his nine, last nine, name nine, is. Uh, Brat? Shot I want to say it's nine, one, four, three. Attention all area six. Spot in the area nine one four three. Area six. Spot nine one four three. Shot fired. Shot fired. Need you clear me off my track. Come in here.
needed to back Frank 5A to 303A. Go for Frank 5A. Yeah, Frank 5A, I'm just trying to get you back in it. Break out of me, 7. Can you back 303A panorama? I'm copy, I'm code 4, hold on. Hey, Tim, we have a plane that appears to be in distress. Stay firm, we're staging fire for it. They're going to attempt to land in Sandy, and we're staging empty. Uh, what's the nature of the backup? I'm obviously do I can head that way. And probably 10 feet. Hey, Tim, your code 4 was traffic out here. Now we're going to be assisting with that emergency landing in Sandy for traffic. Adam 87, you're on a traffic stop or you're going to do thing on the aircraft emergency? Adam 87 and Frank 58 are clear for traffic and we will now be assisting with the emergency. 10-4, 18 Yeah, like I said, Webster, I, I'm not 100% certain on his last name. I want to say it's Pratt, P-R-A-T-T. -T. Negative volume for code 4. I guess I did kick you out. Sorry, Leah. There's a smoking plane. I'm waiting for the loud boom. Oh no, that's why I moved. As soon as I saw it coming in, I was like, you know what? Now I'm Copy moving. All units are moving in. You say landing gear did not come down. Eight. And four. Whoop, coyote. Have me mark 10 8. What? X ray 280 will be responding to 33 7 panorama for an aircraft emergency. Down on deck now. Fire and L. You're both on scene. Control Frank 5 8. The aircraft just crashed on the runway. Currently on fire. Copy. Aircraft crashed on the runway. That's fun. Yeah, make the coyote my canine? Oh, if I only could. Lincoln 39, I'll be back. 10 8. Lincoln 39, clear 10 8. You can go down.
I would, but I don't want to get in trouble for that. I know they uh, they scolded us about a little over a month ago for people doing that. They said uh, a lot of driving um, LEO members were encroaching on scenarios that they weren't a part of and stuff like that. I'll see what I can do. There you go. Nice and pretty. Won't stay here too terribly long, but I'll be here. Sure looks nice at night, don't it? The beauty about being a detective is since I'm in an unmark, I kind of look like I'm a COC member. Be Jeff.
X-ray 280. X-ray 280. You can clear me off that call, I'll be back 10-8. Copy, clear 10-8, 9234. Yeah, I don't know who else would be there that you could watch to try and get a closer view of that. Like I said, I really don't want to get too close because at that, you know, if I try and encroach on the scene, then I can get in trouble for that. So. Pilot did a good job of landing that plane, though. No. Didn't roll over, didn't explode. It's quite impressive if you ask me. Yeah, nope. You know, I've been on the receiving end of Mark uh, giving a butt chewing a few times. Well, I can't say a few times. Maybe a couple times at most. They're not pretty, but he gets the point across. Hey, super. The difference between a sergeant and a lieutenant? Uh, pretty big difference, actually. Uh, a, a sergeant in this one is a uh, support COC member. And then the, which means they can do um, a lot of things, such as supervisory related things, kind of like corporals, just a little more. They have a little more seniority. A little more power and responsibilities. Approve and disapprove um, reports and stuff like that. Um, a lieutenant is a command COC, which means lieutenants actually can control things within server. So promotions in server, giving vehicles in server, um, kicking people out of server, stuff like that. They can do all this stuff in server. So... Uh, that's the biggest difference between sergeant and lieutenant and then uh, obviously they have more seniority they can uh, make their own vehicles you know stuff like that and then captains are kind of the same way they have more freedoms and then obviously the sheriffs are just the founders so nobody can be a sheriff except for the founders hey JB how you doing man hope you're doing well Yeah. Yeah, that would be Mark. He uh, he definitely has a tactful way of presenting. Uh, like I said, he he has a tactful way of presenting his boundaries. Oh yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible to become a captain. Um, it's possible to become a lieutenant. It's possible to become a sergeant. Stuff like that. It's just the higher up you go, the less slots there are for it. So the harder it is. Um, like right now, I know we only have, what is it, two? I can't remember if it's two or three total slots for captains. Let me, uh, let me pull that up real quick and I'll tell you. Uh, 
he's moving pretty fast. Just tell him to slow down. Uh, three total slots for a captain, four for a lieutenant. Uh, looks like four for sergeant and four for corporal. Then after that, you have the regular detectives, senior deputies, deputy twos, deputy threes, deputy ones, stuff like that. So, and those, the slots available for that adjust as needed. So, as of right now, we only have one captain. So, it is possible to be a captain. Uh, the only caveat to that is you have to be a lieutenant first. Because they won't promote you from sergeant to captain. And right now, the only two people that we have as lieutenants is Jeffrey and Doug. And we only have... Yeah, we only have two sergeants right now, Benjamin and Benzo. But we have three corporals. We have Antonio, Rod, and uh, Lopez. So those would be the next candidates for that situation. See, my thing is, is I would debate because... I would like to be to stay a detective you know this is where I wanted to be I'm glad that I got it and I'm a detective too so if ever I make detective three I'll be the highest I can be for a detective um, but if they ever offered me corporal to move up to the command team or something like that I'd be very torn as to whether or not I take that because I would like to take it you know because I'd like the promotion but I also want to stay a detective. So, I think what would be nice is if I could uh, promote up, but take over the ISU as the lead of ISU. That would be kind of cool. But give me one second, guys. David 6 4 control. David 6 4. Can you show me 10 7 for a couple mics? 10 7 8 4 2. Hang on, guys. I got to deal with something real quick. Uh, super to answer that real quick. Uh, the lead of the ISU can be any command member. Right now, it's currently our captain, so it's kind of hard to take that over unless he wants to give it up. So, but give me a second, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's do this. There we go. All right. Hi, David. Six four. Control. You can show me back to you. what that sound was. Negative, I have to stop. Vehicle here's fine. 37, I'm out with him. It's the car that I clocked as well. Lincoln 37, Lincoln 39, advise step it up. It's a uh, verbal argument. Possible weapons involved. I'll start you additional. We're going to be on the highway 2055, right where Union meets Sonora Freeway. Northbound lane. Copy, uh, what's your uh, direction you guys are facing? Can you please move? Wow. North. I'll say. Well, that's a fun way to enter a scene. Pockets. Oh, it's, it's in my car, man. It's in my car. It's in the glove box. 
It's in your glove box. Where's your car? Right, it, nice search on you. It's all over on the track. bank right there. Fucker they spun me out and away. fucking made me go flying through into the embankment over there. I almost hit the fucking bridge. What, what color car do you have? It's a truck there. It's right over there. Right where's yeah. that, that officer just drove by? It's right near there. Caution, I can clear me from my stop over to Copy, I'll show you guys both. Clear to me. David 64 Control, just as a heads up, the second vehicle at my scene is a pickup truck and it is smoking. Copy, confirm there's two vehicles involved. Who the fuck there's do you think you is, man? Truck. Oh, God. Copy, I'll start firing that. Anyone in it? I'm not seeing anyone. That stupid guy's gonna get someone killed. God dang. Sounds like there is, but I'm not seeing anyone. Uh. 3 7. Why well, you guys. Uh, uh, Alright. I'm uh, sorry, 3 1. Can you uh, cut that so truck down there he, for a wallet with an ID in it? I got cut off. Yeah. It hit, I hit something. Like my head hit off or something, man. It, it's killed me. Uh, yeah, I was driving the, the big rig there. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. I got a wallet and a driver's license and vehicle insurance and registration in here. Sir? That's the LEO, isn't it? Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's LEO. <laughs> All right, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I was a detective that was in there. I saw, I saw him, him go down there. I just didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard him say something about the glow compartment, so I was like, hey, you know. Uh, ah. Tommy, two Tom 92 to back, motor vehicle accident. Day two. 92. Tommy, two Tom 92, respond 9232, Innocence Boulevard, 9232, Innocence Boulevard, motor vehicle accident on the injury. Possible ATV involved. Day two, Center Allen, code three from 9146. 92, safe traffic, 4014. See if I can write this down. Go north up the crap. Zero two O Z P eight seven. North seven two go traffic. Yeah, four thousand rounds. Alright, I cut the battery cables on the uh, on the pickup, so just gotta go check the truck out. Sounds good. Mike is bad. I did not copy 28. I copied orange pickup in 4,068. A2, I got, I'm 23. You got one male on the ground unconscious and not alert. There's, I got one uh, four wheeler smoking. Looks like fire's rolling up on scene. 10 for Australia, 23. Um. Six out of 60. Show me 10. Hold on. This says Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith. Adam 62, can you stop Mark Cat, please? And I, I served in the Gulf War, dude, and I never Pet. experienced this pain before. A bolo for him. Tom 96 control, go ahead. Our Polito 96, go ahead. Hey, devil. No, no, I'm not allergic. What, Lieutenant? We have a bolo. 
Nah, right. I refuse. Fuck a little high. We're gonna put you in this. Right, six, six, six. So you brake check the truck, and what do you do? He get you in the I'm back sorry, end and, and shot you off the road. Pretty fucking well. Basically, uh, clipped my back end of the vehicle, oh, and then uh, I did a, a double. 360, and then I went straight into the fucking side there. Yeah, that would be great, man. My uh, my neck and my back and everything's killing me right now. You on a stretcher, you need to stop shouting, please. I'm with the seriously about to here. just put on just another uniform that bit. works with this. Are you injured at all, Devante? Do you feel injured anywhere? Nah, fuck that. Are you sure? I really advise that you get checked out by medical if you were rear-ended by an 18-wheeler. No, nah, I'm good. All these if he's under arrest, here, he doesn't have a choice. He has to be checked out due to an accident before he goes to jail. Not if I fucking refuse. You, I don't, what part of you don't have a fucking choice that you not understand? KLT. Yo, I say I hey. fucking refuse. Yo, I don't have a choice. You're in custody. Yeah, hold on. Let me get medical. I copy. I'll attach you to this. Hey, can you guys check out the guy in the back of my cruiser? Yeah, yeah I can. He says he refused, but he's under arrest, so we nah. gotta check him out. Yeah. All right, thanks, bud. No problem. Irish. Hey. KLT. Uh, check the truck no out. Ran the plate. Talking. The plate is uh, in registered to a Devonte Smith. Irish. And yep. we had a bolo before the uh, the memory reset, if you know what I mean, right, for him for an arson down in the city. Norm, okay. Oh shit. But since it's uh, not currently active, if you know what I mean, that's not like an explosion. Uh, did you hear that? I did. I know there's been a lot of planes crashing hey, well, in I'm this like, area. Uh, it's been like that for a couple weeks. Those little stunt planes and stuff that fly around. So I'm not sure what we want to do about the bolo. If we just kind of want to let it go for this time. Yeah. Or... See, I don't know. I I I, I think at this point we have to. Because we never got um, reactive. I know yeah. the sheriff said something about if we run into them resubmit it and stuff like that but i wasn't sure if that means resubmit it while we're on scene with them or because right. it was just a bolo for i had his fingerprints at the arson so it was a confirmed that it was him um but it was a bolo yeah, i never put a warrant out for it okay do you want to you want to transport him i mean someplace yeah. and question yeah. him or well that's why i'm leaving it up to you uh, I mean, because like I said, I don't know how to handle this situation. I'm okay with putting out a bolo again or getting the warrant, um, but I don't have any of the reports from that arson to back it up at this time. So since we don't have the paper trails, should we just let it slide and then you just get what you got? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Okay. Um, hey, Lieutenant, quick question. Mm -hmm. He's got an old. This guy's got an old bolo before the uh, purge, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, can we What's even go off? Devontae, Devontae Smith. Smith. If Arson you bolo. remember it and you know that it wasn't done, I don't see why we can't hold for it at least. I do remember it. Uh, it was for an arson, and I had his fingerprints on scene. I just didn't get the... the custody uh, was in the semi, right? I would say I didn't have the, uh, the rest of the reports mm -hmm. to file for the warrant. What's that? The uh, data custody was in the semi truck, right? I mean, the bolo was, was removed, but I believe yeah. that. Yeah, which car was his? He was a bolo or a warrant? Right Okay, a, it was a bolo. It. I never got the reports to actually file okay, for the warrant the before the purge. It. Um, okay, it's all good. Um, okay, cool. Just want to make okay. sure. That, one, that may be a uh, Eugene question. Of course. You may need to call Ocean 19 and ask him what he would say on that. Okay. That would be my. I would, yeah, I would say call Ocean 19, get his opinion, and then if he says go with it, then you can. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you, sir. All right. Yep. Uh, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need a 51 out here for one vehicle and then a heavy wrecker for a 18 wheeler. Do we have any CSOs available? I do have a CSO. I'll attach X ray 280. Nice. Here we go. And 39, I'll start you. Uh, two County 51s, one heavy. Extended ETA for weather. Thank you, sir. Next round. 
right. Extra so what do you what do you want to do? Do you want to take him in and question uh, him or? Well, Lieutenant right, we Doug go, said that I should probably get a hold of Eugene and figure out what he would say to do. I've just been waiting for the radio to clear so I can ask Eugene if he can take a twenty one. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So I'll ask him right here. Okay. Do you did you say you searched the truck? Yeah, I looked in the truck. There's nothing right. illegal in there. Um, it had a license, wallet, vehicle registration, and insurance. All that stuff was in there. All right, perfect. We'll go take another look. Uh, let's make sure it's not going to roll down the hill. Yeah. David, six four to Ocean nineteen direct. Yeah, ma'am. Ocean nineteen. Yes, sir. Do you have a second for twenty one? Firm standby. I'm um, currently pulling up on Davis to deal with the matter. 10 4. Control uh, 6 Tommy 2. Wait, give me a second. Right now I'm just checking you in. Tommy 2. Fire is advising us that they're getting uh, skylight the over here. Are you able to coordinate with the fire dispatcher and see how long it's going to take for them to get here? I look up in the skies. This is when purges are really confusing because we lose all of our paper trail and everything else that we've had on people. So a lot of investigational stuff, unless you've actually saved the reports, uh, you basically have to start over, which is annoying. But luckily for me, I saved all mine except for this one because I couldn't. I, uh, all the deputies didn't get me all the reports before I could submit for a warrant. Cheekbone, so it's cut, smoke cut in the face too. And you can take care of that while to um, listen to his lungs. X-ray two eighty to Lincoln three nine direct. Come on, Eugene. I hate standing here like a bump on a log, you know. But I know Eugene's probably pretty busy. Simply because there's a lot of admin stuff that needs to go on tonight. Post purge. It's, it's pretty uh, hectic, if you Already know what I mean. Alright, thank you, sir. And in your box. Copy, thank you. X ray 280 to 65 direct. Control, Frank 58 on. Frank 58. How about a heist, guys? Heist? Only 300. Wow. It's gonna be a cheap one right there, that's for sure. Of course, I'm probably gonna get my myself thrown off the ship, so it's not gonna be a big deal. X-ray 280, Tom 65. Go ahead. If you wanna move your vehicle, sir, I can take your spot. Copy, appreciate it. Control, Frank 58, I have one individual trapped in the vehicle. Adam 87, apology to be 10 for you, 10 7, unable to respond to that call. Adam 87, I copied. Okay. North 
David, 64 to Ocean 19, direct. Are you available for 21, sir? Hey, sir. I got a situation here at 2055 I wanted to run by you. Uh, I've talked to both LTs, and they told me I need to ask you. Uh, one of the characters on scene here had a bolo before the purge for arson um, down in the city. Um, but since everything got purged, it's not showing in the system. Should we hold him for that, or should I resubmit the bolo um, in the report so I can get a warrant for him so we can continue that situation? Um, are you the main person on the case that knows about the bull loan? Yeah, me and, uh, 9-7 were both on that case. In fact, 9-7 was the one who put, put the bull out, but I was the investigating, uh, detective for the arson and got his fingerprints and directly matched his name to the arson. Uh, then you can continue like you the bolos there, that, uh, if it's the 100% the same here. person. I got another call to get up. Yeah, here. it seems like it's 100%. The name uh, matches, the and the guy's uh, the, uh, um, appearance looks yeah. identical. And then you're good to go with the bolo. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate that, sir. No problem. All right. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> hey, LT. What's the verdict? Well, uh, uh, he's... Eugene said that if if I was one of the main Tommy units Tommy. that was on the arson case doing Tommy. the investigation and yeah, stuff, uh, if, if it's the same guy, 100%, then we can continue the bolo like it was never erased. Copy, it'll be a county for D1 coming from the city. Perfect. Were you so, that guy? Huh? Yeah, I was the detective on that, investigating oh, it. Perfect. So I got, I got fingerprints and everything that put him at the scene doing the arson. Witnesses um, gave the description of him, and he matches it directly. That's okay. even better. So now we've got assault with a deadly weapon, battery, uh, criminal mischief, and now uh, we've got all your stuff. On top of yeah, it. mischievous, malicious mischief. Yeah, that. And yep. uh, terrorist, terrorist oh, yeah. threats. Terroristic threats. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then now everything you got. Jeez. Even, man, yes. I love it when an asshole gets what's coming Jeez. from. <laughs> yeah. Great arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Levi, your unit's up front now. Okay, I saw you drive by. I appreciate okay. that. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, are you, are you taking him in, detective? I mean, uh, if you want me to, I can. Um, I, I, I mean, would like I said, say I've so got just to uh, make sure that he gets everything that uh, you need him no, for. Sir, I think I'm all right. And okay. just add the charges to it for oh, what we've already got. Nice. Do you got the uh, Do you got the charges? Did you write those down? You want me to tell you again? Yeah, if you can tell me those again real quick, I'd appreciate yeah, that. Does. All right, it's gonna be uh. Plato 97, Plato 96, David 83, uh, North Assault with a Assault with a deadly weapon. Okay. Drive, burglary, home invasion in progress. All uh, units hold the air. Steve, Plato if you 97, want to break Plato off of that, you can go. Three, okay. Uh, Sounds good. Good right. question. Uh, 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 Respond 1057. Uh, Short answer. Drive, yes. Home uh, I'm taking my pillbox. You want him hold? Okay. Uh. Uh, communicate, uh, right the I don't know, threats. hold on. Because we, we just sent the guy away. And, uh, malicious, uh, mischief. He's the victim, isn't he? Yeah, he when I got I here, say, the, when I got here, the guy was thinking about it. Okay. Just, so I'm going to read him back to you just to make sure I got them all. Yep. Yep. Assault with deadly weapon. Sure uh, Battery. Terroristic threats. Malicious mischief. I would say he's a victim as long as we can get his phone yep. number. I'll take care of the arrest. He will be there for a while. He's got to collect stuff. Okay. So and I'll take care of the one for the arson. I'll have a nice call you guys. Stuff just like that. So. 
Yeah, yeah if you just want to yeah, just have pillbox call us with the you know that you took him in on the warrant, and then I'll have the arrest report written up. Okay. All right, I'll transport him for you. Oh, I appreciate hey, that, doors sir. in the oh okay. Oh, never mind. Do you want me to follow you down there, LT? Have they uh, secured that semi? Do we know? Doors I imagine so. They've been here for fucking forever. So there, uh, it's not just a semi. If you look down here, where'd you get it? There's a pickup truck down there. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, that one's also part of it. The semi. All units responding one zero five seven Toledo nine seven RP is saying he's hearing loud banging coming from the garage area. Police suspect or suspect unknown number are in the garage. All set, detective. Thank you, sir. Yep, appreciate it, sir. All right, man. All right, Mr. Smith. How you doing tonight? I've been better, I guess. What are my charges? I, all I heard was I just was getting the charge of assault. That's about it. Um, the, the charges that they told me... Uh, our assault with a deadly weapon, battery, terroristic threats, and malicious mischief. Copy. Homeowner is a Gina Underwood. Female. Said anything about terrorist threats? In the back bedroom. Oh, hell is that? I wasn't gonna fight that. I am not sure because I wasn't on scene when that was done. So that would be that was my lieutenant who told me what charges you have. So. Um, I, I, he didn't say shit to me about getting terrorist threats on top. top of that. He just told me that it was assault, but that was about it. Well, I'm, I'm just taking you down to for him for those. Um, whatever is on his, if you want to fight, you're welcome to in court. Um, I'm actually taking you in because um, about a week ago. Uh, I had had your fingerprints matched to a arson uh, house that caught fire down there due to being soaked in gas. Well, that may be true, but he never said that those were my charges as well. Yeah, no, the the other charge I don't know what his charges are because, like I said, I'm not the I'm not the officer that was there to see or witness any of the charges. Um, so I don't know what all his charges entail. I'm just told to put those in there or at least tell you what they are. Um, the only ones that I know for a fact that you're getting from me are the, uh, the arson charges. Um, like I said, because of arson the... Arson charges? I never... I didn't do no damn arson charges, though. No, because I had your fingerprints down in a home in Los Santos that, uh, caught fire due to guy walking in there with a can of gasoline and pouring it all over the place and lighting it on fire. Oh, that fucker? You mean Jack Wong? Yeah, I, yeah, that's right. I fucking lit his house on fire. Fuck that public. motherfucker. Uh, I think he moved, too. I'm gonna go find out where he lives. Well, I would highly advise staying away from him. Uh, not due to the fact that he's dangerous or anything, but uh, you really don't want to add aggravated assault to the uh, charges when it comes to the arson case. Uh, cause the judge isn't gonna look happy on that. Ah, uh, fine. I swear, I will find out. I mean, you may not suggest, you, you, I mean, I appreciate you saying, you know, you highly suggest not me, uh, going there or anything like that, but, you know, I'm gonna go find out where that Mr. Jack Brown lives. I heard he moved since his place burnt down, that little asshole. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where he moved. Um, I just know that his place burnt down and... I got, like I said, I got your prints and witnesses saying that your description is the person that was coming in and out of the place. So, uh, two plus two equals four in my book, and uh, that's why I'm taking you in myself.
five Palm Nine Two Control. I'm gonna be headed to Bill Box for uh, for details. Alrighty. Nine David Six Four Control. David Six Four. Can you show me twenty three at Bill or at Boiling Brook with one? Alright, if you'll follow me, we're just gonna go right through the gate in front of you. Okay, we're gonna go to this door right here. Control north. North seven two. Go ahead and walk to the door and face it. I'm gonna go ahead and hand you off to my partner inside. Alright. And then he'll get you into your cell. So uh, they will give you a court date and stuff while you're in there before you can be released. Uh, so expect there to be paperwork involved with this. And, uh, well, I guess we'll see you in the court if you decide to fight any of it, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take off these cuffs real quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toss you in there. Uh, I'm trying to have yourself a better night, all right? All right, thanks, officer. One minute for Larson. There we go. There we go. Hey, Logan, how you doing, man? I she I wasn't there. I don't know how we got the terroristic threats charged. That's on uh, Gibson as to how that happened. I was not a part of that. I was too busy looking at the truck and. Uh, Making sure this guy's name could still be used on the bolo that we just had wiped out by our system purge. The fact that he admitted to burning that dude's house down, that's great. That makes my job a million times easier. All I gotta do is clip it and save it, because then, guess what? Now I get to, uh, basically, when I show up to court, I can be like, yeah, he admitted it. Even if he's trying to fight it, it's like, yeah, I didn't under any duress, he was literally in the back of my squad vehicle. So he can uh, definitely take that charge. But as far as the terroristic threats, I'm assuming it was because of the arguments. North 72, Adam 62, and North 63 to back, search and rescue. Um, it was probably due to the arguments that were being had as the officers came onto scene. North 72, Adam 62, North 63, respond 2056, catfish view. 2056, catfish view. For a search and rescue, stand by for details.
David 64, you can show me clear, Mac 10 There we go, nice and easy. Six four, you can send me to that. Six four. Six three, only thirty seconds from that. I'll start. Copy. Crash nineteen, I'll be in route to the officer down. Crash nineteen, eight from that'll be Adam six two, non responding seven two nine three. Make sure I have the right one. Six three. Todd just right now talking. Uh, you have the driver's side door open at the time. Open over injury. Okay, driver's side door open. Talking. Seven two nine six, but I don't see him.
Understand me? David 6 4, we have you loud and clear now. Are you okay? 10 4, I'm fine. I'm trying to find the officer down. Okay, officer down will be at 7293 Vinewood Park Drive. 7293 Vinewood Park Drive, we have units on the scene. 7293. 10 4, uh, was not showing up on my CAD, so I didn't know. Copy. I have you attached now. Control the Tommy too. Tommy too. Got clear from the NBA. Got Chevy 107042. Good night. Tommy too. Clear 107042. Have your answer. That's looking good at the map. Didn't hit your head on the steering wheel that you know of. I felt. Back right. Jerk. Okay. And you need to hit the front left side of the vehicle on this vehicle behind me then. Mm -hmm. Hey, Devil, have a good night, man. If you're still here, sorry. Uh, 9 David 8 3, disregard X3 250 response 731. Alright, Zen, have a good one, man. Mirror Park Appreciate Drive. it, brother. Check your vials from that. Copy. David 83, you're the closest. I get you to respond 7319 West Mayor Park Drive. This is for a fire alarm activation. Unknown if there's an active fire and have no available fire units. Looks like his right leg's pretty cut up, but it's not bleeding right now. Okay, yeah, I'll make both of his legs that are entrapped by the console. Are you guys sufficient here, sir? Yeah, we should be good if you want to get out of here. Yeah, I'll free up that way that we can have other officers since we're busy tonight. David 6 4 control. You can clear me off this and show me back 10 8 or send me anywhere needed. I'm sure you clear 10 8 and I think we're sufficient. 10 4. You know it would be a fun concept, and I'm just going to say this, just because it's awkward. They should put plow trucks in here.
Because that would be a fun job, you know? For a sieve, it snows, you go around with a plow truck, plowing the highways. As it's snowing, you know, it removes the snow to wet pavement for like 30 minutes. As long as they're uh, salting and stuff like that, that'd be fun. Snow looks really peaceful tonight. Nine David Six Four Control. Okay. Control, can you show me ten seven for a few mics? David Six Four Ten Seven. 
All right, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, let's see what we got. Nine David six four because we got ten eight. traffic. Copy here, 20. 
Watch it be that car that was ripping through here at 80 something miles an hour behind me earlier. Sure looks like it. Yep, it is. Eagle One, you only search and rescue helicopter. Negative. Looks like the captain got off.
<laughs> yeah, Brad, it's uh, been kind of quiet here tonight. At least in the chat. The, uh, the stuff in server has been pretty active. Although Polito looks dead as a doorknob. Look at that. It's like a placid town right here. Perfect for a snowy night. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Oh, I'm sure my stream was getting pretty boring, too. It was almost like uh, some of the dispatchers didn't realize that even though I'm a detective, they could they could still attach me to things. So it's like I went days without calls. But now they're able to, or now they know that they can attach me to stuff. So I kind of I kind of get more calls. I get uh, quite a few detective requests too. Which has been nice. I like investigating things. Control David three. Three. Whoop. We're in the fire and route to seven three one nine West Mirror Drive. Um, there's actually two houses on the property. The second one has an active fire inside the home. Copy. We'll send again back to seven three one nine for an active fire. Yeah, and you know what's sad about it is that we're required to continuously drive our cars around. So. But as a detective, I don't have to drive near as much. I could literally just park somewhere if I wanted to. Although parking somewhere if I want to, as uh, as nice as that may seem, um, I can't run radar while doing that. So it's kind of like, there's no point in it. <laughs> oh, dang it. I was just down in the city. I should have went to... D'Angelo's and grab some pizzas. Dang it. Didn't even think about it. I drove right by the place, too. Alright, there we go. See, and that's, that's one of my bigger complaints, Brad, is that a lot of our civs, um, they don't do plots or storylines, you know. In fact, there was one... X-ray 280 in route from 2048. Uh, right before we did our purge, or 
server data reset is an easy way of putting it. Uh, we had a Civ that was like, he was brand new to the server. He was like, I just want to create a bunch of characters, do something stupid, and get them arrested for life. And I was like, well, that's kind of a waste. Now, I'm not saying that every person needs to have this super intricate uh, storyline to go off of and stuff like that with their sieves and all that stuff, but I mean, at least make it somewhat interesting. But I agree. The creativity of uh, some of the sieves on this server or a bit of them, I should say, has really, really diminished. Five, do we have a they don't. They don't have. They from. We can get them to our stop. For they don't have the fortitude of thinking ahead multiple scenarios with certain characters. Like, you know, put a story together. Something like that. I would have to have deputies, multiple deputies. You know, have similar situations piling together for a case file or something like that. Now, I'm not going to lie, I do have a pretty large case that I'm I'm working on. Um, and I'm actually in collaboration with the, the Civ who plays the main person of interest, my HVT, or High Value Target, for those that don't know what that is. Uh, my, my HVT and I are planning the the culmination of the investigation that I'm working on currently and it includes like six or seven other civs at the same time so it, it's something big um, but they said that they didn't want to do anything until after the wipe which just happened yesterday so Pulling on we are uh, currently, like I said, I'm, I'm awaiting his stuff. I'm going to be putting the uh, all the stuff together and putting in a warrant for him um, and all that later tonight after patrol, probably. Later and uh, this way we can have the buildup of scenes and whatnot so it'll be nice there's there's a nice storyline there but the sieve that i'm working on or working with is like because you can see in the in the chat you have like sieve 209 sieve 167 sieve 304 stuff like that this sieve is like under 100 which means like he's basically the command coc for sieves so he's running the joint uh, he's one of the ones running the joint, I should say. So he's got time in server where he's put together a nice little storyline. And he's gotten, you know, five or six civs with him to collaborate to make a bigger scenario and situation than just a single character thing, which has been really nice. But it's sad that it takes the, you know, the VRPs or you know the the higher end civs to do that i wish some of the new guys would come in and have a decent idea set to make good situations for us to deal with copy uh do you have anything uh i got one plenty of pain yeah i'm not sure copy well i know some of the civs that we have on here that do great things or do stuff outside of the the norm something happens and someone gets mad and then they get kicked or banned or something like that and there's you know once that happens there's no appeal to it so they're just gone um i do know that there have been some that uh that have left for personal reasons you know, like life got busy, they got a new job, or you know, uh, family nine, suddenly nine. increased in size and 
stuff like that. So I understand the uh, some of them leaving like that. But yeah, you're right. There's quite a few of them that you know they they get to a high end and then they're gone. Zachary Harold. Maintain control. Our units are requesting air. Yeah, yeah they're on interop. Uh, Ocean 19, they're on interop one. But, yeah, so, but like I said, I mean, I know my scene directly. Um, I have some stuff that's pretty yeah, large that I'm working on. Um, Happy show you we're on interop one. I know. David 83, our other detective, he's working on a pretty Enemy large case. Um, I've got a second case that I'm building. In fact, the guy that I was building it on, I literally just arrested tonight. Um, I've got another case that I'm working on. Um, yeah. North 72, respawn 3045 Panorama, 3045 Panorama on the dirt road. I've got a f another case that I'm working on that it's a it's a nice case. It's like a uh, a serial arsonist, but the problem is is I only have a picture of the guy. I know no names, no fingerprints, no nothing, and he struck like six different places already. So, oh no, that was the Reverend. Reverend's about to get arrested. <laughs> um, but no, I, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I just saw him. Uh, sorry. The, uh, Ocean 19, are you still monitoring? I'm building a case for that right now. Um, but it goes warm, then cold, then warm, then cold. It's never, it's never anything solid, you know? So as, as much as I hate to say it, I'd love to get more into it, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen. Because I think at this point, the Civ that is actually running that character just doesn't want to get caught. So... Yeah, and I get that. You know, every game has its lull moments and stuff like that, but... In my opinion, though, um, you know, we try and keep it like a realistic RP in the server, which is fine. You know, I don't mind that at all. Um, though talking with some of the old guys that were on server and stuff like that, it, there's apparently quite a few limitations to the creativeness that they can use. Um, and it discourages people because it's almost like I'm 65, I'll be clear back today. what I was told was that the server themselves almost want it to be the same. You know what I mean? Like, they want the same thing all the time to make it ease. You know, ease of duties, ease of job stuff, like that. So, not sure how true that is, because I haven't actually played Civ stuff. Uh, but it definitely looks like... Um, in my opinion, uh, there's a lot of things that I think could go better that just doesn't. And so we do see a lot of the same the same calls, you know, and it's very typical. So, who be that? How's it going? It's another beautiful day, man. How you doing? Yep, another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. Are they good on that dirt bike thing? I think so. I haven't gone over there. 
Okay, I heard they're out with four, so I wasn't sure if I should swim by or not. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't even know where they're at. Yeah, I think they're just south of here. I'll go. I'll go take a peek. All right. All right, detective. Take it easy. Have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. Hey, just letting you know. I was gonna say you started yep, your take. I just noticed. <laughs> yeah, forgot from my last stop. Appreciate that. Yep. Anytime, man. Have a good one. You too. Yep. Stay safe. So. But yeah, like I said, there, there are times when things just get boring, you know, and you need to change. Huh? There goes Eagle One. Uh, you need to change your scenery every now and then, you know. But see, and that's that's why I think that some scenarios, uh, if built properly, could be nice. You know what I mean? It could keep things interesting. Oh, you know? There's the Reverend. Gotta move. So, like I said, I, uh, I'm not discrediting, you know, people's creativity or anything like that, because we do have some people that are very creative on the server. Um, but to me, a lot of times it feels like it's outside, if anything's outside of your typical bank robbery, fire, running from the police, shots, you know, stuff like that. It's like a lot of people just don't want to think outside that typical box. So, I think that's where it gets boring sometimes. Online two, patrol. Online two. I do think that is why two, back to some of the back higher back LEO back. do go Civ often enough where, you know, they can make something creative and fun. Because, like me, if I were to do a Civ right now, I would personally make a few Civs that are non-criminal Civs. You know, like make up scenes and scenarios that don't involve crime, you know, because no offense, as an LEO, sometimes that gets boring. I've said it before, my, my favorite character that I've ever role played with uh, was actually Thomas. And believe it or not, Thomas. The, uh, the reason I like Thomas so much is because he built a character that could do multiple scenes. And he did a a depression and anxiety-ridden person that couldn't handle the trauma and the PTSD of possibly taking another life. And deteriorated to the point of suicidal thoughts and ideations. And then after that, he came went to rehab, stuff like that, and got better and did better for himself, you know? Something like that. That's the kind of thing that I like seeing. Right, yes. With, with that as limits. But, I mean, even... Like, there are even limits that we have that are still within the realism realm. You know, like, there, there are things that we can't do on server, even if it's real. Like, really real, you know? And um, I, don't quote me on any of this, per se, as exact things, because most of it I don't know because I'm not a Civ. Um, but I do know one thing we can't do, you know, bomb threats. We can't do bomb threats. I know there was one... One episode where uh, 67 and I were on a, uh, well, it was 67, it's now 58, and I were on a scene with a bomb threat at the hospital, you know, and the guy that planted that immediately got kicked from the server, you know. So the realism things that I think are the boundaries that, you know, like they said, you know, if you're driving in a car and you drive up the side of a mountain, at 60 miles an hour, a car is not going to do that. You know, we all understand that. And that's the type of realism that shouldn't be allowed. But I think if it's a realistic scenario in all aspects, I believe that within that realm of realism, that's something that you could literally see on a daily basis as a real LEO or FD or EMS or something like that. I think it should be allowed in server. That's just my opinion, though. 
Uh, Patrick was actually on today. Uh, he was on when I got on. Uh, he's not on now, sadly. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, he's not on right now. But, uh, Benzo is actually on LOA. Not sure for how long, but, uh, he's, uh, he's on LOA. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, um, but like I said, as far as that bomb threat and stuff like that, that was a fun scene, you know. Uh, Lopez and I had a great time doing that scene, and I thought, man, that'd be great if we could have a bomb squad, you know, that'd be something a uh, unit that would be great to have, you know, along with our SWAT and our uh. You know, our ISU, our TED units, our Marine units, you know, all those great units that we have. Let's add, you know, a bomb squad to that. You'd only take a couple people that would need that. And then come to find out that's against SOP to even have a bomb threat. So, like I said, the guy that did it got immediately banned. And though we played the scenario out, they could have just cleared that and said, we're done. We're not doing it. But we were already on scene before they realized it was actually a bomb threat. So... Yeah, I don't know. Right. Bomb threats happen all the time. Suspicious packages happen all the time. Um, you know, crazy, have crazy people walking around there. Not just the mental people that are like, you know, oh, I'm kind of slow. You know, not the, not that type. But I mean, like, have people with, like, schizophrenia. Or, or how about even doing, like, a multiple personality person? I have yet to see anybody with a multi-personality syndrome do any type of scenario in this server. You know, have the guy with the multi-personality syndrome call the police on himself over something that he doesn't even realize he did. You know, make a long display over that or a long scene, multiple scenes over multiple patrols and stuff of that. You know, there, there's great ideas that we can have, but is that allowed? I don't know. So... I would hope it would be allowed because that'd be really cool. Frank, sorry. Can we just put down a note? My but again, radar caught the purple vehicle at 58, 54 miles an hour in the parking lot. 58 in the parking lot. 54. 54. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's if it's against SOP or procedures and the server. Or if it's just some of our guys aren't creative enough to think of something like that. Or, I mean, I really don't know. I've been on server for over a year. Uh, been at LEO for a year. So, I mean, I have my, my thoughts and opinions and inputs and stuff like that. But, I mean, it just seems like... It almost seems like everything is on rails. You're on a train, and it's the same old things happening all the time. The same old, same old. So I don't know how in-depth people think of characters and scenarios, because I'm never a part of that stuff, but I still think it would be fun. I mean, here's a scenario. Why not have twins? You know? Have twins where one twin does something illegal and the second twin gets caught up in it. Because he's a lookalike. You know? That happens. That would be a fun scene to try and figure out as a officer.
I'm wondering if I should call that in. Should I call that in? The two off-road vehicles doing donuts on the airfield? See if they still there. If they still there, I'm gonna call them in. David six four control. Good. Uh, David six four control. Hey you man. Disregard. Yeah. Copy it twenty. Hey man, that plane is on fire again, dude. It's on fire again. Yeah. All right, let me go check it out. All right. Appreciate it. Nine David six four control. Nine David six four. Control, I have an active fire on the plane that crashed in Sandy Airfield. Copy active fire on the plane that crashed. I'll start fire. Ten four. Okay. Yeah. Well, they did tell me that it was on fire, so I'll go ahead and just let them sit here for a minute. Toledo 9623. Looks like Eagle 1 right there. Can you self catch, please? Break. Uh, David 64, confirm it. 3037 Panorama. 64104. That's 3037 Panorama. At least we're giving FD something to do. Here they come. Eagle One flying low. I mean, they are technically off road, but I mean, see, and this is another gray area, right? Because normal IRL laws state that as a non-licensed or authorized personnel, you're not allowed to be on an airfield. Here they are on an airfield. So, but does our penal codes say anything about that? No. So what do you do? You tell them to get out, which I could do, but who's going to authorize a trespass on them, you know? Plus, for snow, uh, at least they're not doing donuts in the middle of the road, you know. Control, Frank 58. Frank 58. Copy, sir. Yeah, if there's a CSO available, can you route up to 3052? If not, can you send the next rotation? 
X-ray 250, copy direct, 3052, 3052 is north. Copy that, 250, show me All right. please. In route 2021. Ice? And I'll start out 51. Your direction, extended ETA for weather. Ay, ay, ay. Tell the FD. Good job, guys. I thought you put it out already. Apparently not. Tell Jess. Some FD you guys have. <laughs> and Shane. Tell them, yeah, you should make sure you guys double check that they have all the flames out. Oh, yeah. You got some points there, Brad. Quite a few of them. This fire department's taking <laughs> quite some time. <laughs> Are they finally coming? I'd answer a 250. There should be a 51 in the route. Or on scene shortly. Cover that. Finally. FD arrived. <laughs> I'll be making more soon. In fact, that'll probably be something I do during the day tomorrow. I have some more of these uh, sound effects and stuff set up for you guys. <laughs> He's just pushing it. Nah, -uh. don't be lazy. Get out there, get a hose. Go run your hose.
Ah, that's Shane. <laughs> Get closer, Shane. There you go. <laughs> He's just pushing it along. <laughs> I'm the only one that got points? Dang. That's rough. Grab the hose. All right, Brad, you do the same, man. Take her easy. Hopefully you're not too stressed out over the holidays. But have a good one. I'll catch you the next time, brother. probably like, I can't get it. Comes engine number two. He's probably going to tell me, eh, you can't do anything with it. Okay, um, so really that fire is out. I know you okay. see it, but you don't see it. You know okay, I mean? yeah, that's, yeah. That's one of those never ending ones. Ah, okay. But, um, I, I, I sprayed it over with foam. It's completely cool and off and stuff. This is that plane that crash landed earlier. Yeah. Yeah. The FAA should have roped it off. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, I mean, the guys that are back there were the ones that told me that it was on fire again. So I just, I just came over here, saw it was on fire. I'm like, well, I'll probably let them know. Yeah. I, um, I completely sprayed it over with foam. Um, it's, com it's technically completely out. We just, okay. you know, that that will never go away unless the plane, you know, gets taken. Sure, sure. No, I get it. So I'll let them know. All right, appreciate, All right, appreciate it. Yep. No, uh, you guys we, get back to service. When we came out to this call originally, I sprayed that whole thing down with foam like this. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah, man. Hey, that uh, that's the eternal flame. So there's nothing yeah, they can do I about see. that. <laughs> yeah, I see that. So it's out, but it's not yep. out. If you know what I mean. Yep. So I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, man, no problem. David six four control. David six four. Yeah, you can clear me and show me back ten eight. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm.
Sun's starting to come back up. That's a shame. Whoa. Ah, this must be the guy about to fall off the roof or jumping off the roof. Oh, yeah. Excuse me.
I'm sure you show me 23 on the 3026 on Conklin. X-ray 280 on the team. 2042. Advice fire, are you in shouting distance? Uh, negative. Uh, no visual on them right now. They may have entered the building. Copy. Witness on scene says the guy may be on the second level. Jeez, four guys for one car.
That is a lot of cars. Ocean 19, you sure you got off here? You want me to keep going straight? Yeah, keep going. Pretty quiet, y'all. Pretty quiet. Three nine and nineteen direct. Uh, made it down the hill box. Team in sight. So, start heading back out that way. Copy. I just swung through Procopio. I'm coming back on some more way now. Control Frank five eight. Warning issued. Frank five eight. Warning issued.
nine. I've got them over here at the Dino Bite Diner, but I can't possibly ID if it was this one. Seven Frank five eight nine David eight three. So back motor vehicle accident on an entry. Frank five eight. Frank five eight David eight three response seven two zero one Los Angeles Boulevard seven two zero one Los Angeles Boulevard for a motor vehicle accident unknown injuries. Frank five eight in route code. David eight three in route. Same track. Frank 58 David 83 be advised that will possibly be a two car MVA and on injuries. Taking a report at least one is a red car that's involved to loss control. Unknown description of second vehicle. Copy. Control David 83 is 23. Frank five eight on scene. Frank five eight ten twenty three twenty fifty four.
Susan still. Not bad. <laughs> maybe. He said maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. North 72, have a good night. <laughs> have a good night, sir. Thank you for dispatch. Nine David six four control. Cut. I'm at three thousand on traffic. Can I get a marked unit to my location? Three thousand on traffic. Plato nine seven to back. Three thousand East Joshua Road traffic. Nine seven copy. Reason for stop is uh, driver almost hit me head on driving down the road, swerving all over the road. Um, he was driving erratically. Sounds like he's possibly drunk and intoxicated. It's on a grayish four door truck. Occupants times one. I have a 28 one ready. Go with uh, 28. 28 is 62 Oscar Oscar Bravo 267. That is 6200B267. All right, man. Morning, sir. Uh, <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing all right. 
Uh, Detective Levi with the Los Santos Sheriff's Office. Do you know why I stopped you today? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, right over there where uh, Pan Panorama meets uh, Marina Drive, you about hit me head on driving down uh, East Joshua here. And then uh, I turned around and you were swerving all over the, the road using both lanes and took you. You got my lane. No. Nope. Oh, I can promise you oh, I didn't. No. Have, you, have you been drinking? Yeah. What makes you think I've been drinking? Respond six one seven eight six one seven eight. Just the way you're responding and automated I mean, mugging alert time. Got three. a lot of hiccups going on there. I make that four. It's ongoing. I might have to run Levi. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I haven't been drinking at all. <laughs> Fuck you. Six one eight five. Six four break. I got one running. Is that you? 10-4, got one running, marked unit in front of me. We are heading east, uh, southbound panorama 3037. Front, away. Ocean 19 advised for, for six continuous. Low unit, weather. 19, uh, you can go ahead and run another unit. I'll be primary in this. They went right by me. Uh, gonna we be are slow closing. Right now. Copy. Uh, Polito 97, you're the only one disregard that call and start towards that traffic here, where they're at. Thanks, okay. We are now turning northbound Sonora Freeway, 3053. He's swerving all over the road, definitely intoxicated. Polito unit, go by. Four. I am third. Um, we are still northbound Sonora Freeway, 3052, speeds about 80 miles an hour. Northbound 19 is right up his rear end right there. It's great. Sonora Freeway 2000. He's swerving all over the road. Just struck another vehicle. Struck another vehicle. I need to use the boys to prepare. I'm going to go in for a minute. We need to stop this guy. Place. Get him, Eugene. Yeah. Maneuver. Get out of the car. Face away from me. To the sound of my voice, step towards my voice backwards. Step back, 
Step back. Stop. Stop. I'm on your right. Get down on your knees. You guys got me? I got you, Levi. I, I got, got you. No, oh, man. Well, that was real dumb. You're dumb. Six, four, one, ten, fifteen. Four, one, ten, fifteen. Check the vehicle, guys. Check the vehicle. Ten, four, we're clearing vehicle. Pigs. Well, don't you put me in this white car. No. Alright. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney when being questioned or confronted. If you do not have an attorney or cannot afford one, one will be presented for you for the, by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Knowing these rights, do you still want to talk to us? No, I want to talk to your pig little bitch ass. Do you have anything on your persons that is illegal or could stab, poke, or hurt me in any fashion? I don't think so. Nope, he doesn't. Okay. I am going to put you in the vehicle for the time being. That way we can question you off the road, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's cold out here. Can you at least shut the door? Hey. Right, just going to leave it open? All right, fuck me, I guess. No, hey. I was trying to close it. Right, if we fuck. search that vehicle, are we going to find anything in there? You might find some bottles i can't say it's gonna be alcohol but it might be yeah. something anything else any kind of drugs weapons no okay sorry detective <laughs> oh you're you're good oh come on door it's pr police brutality <laughs> man you're keeping the door oh yeah hey it's about time you pick with a bitch did something So why'd you take off? Man, I don't like cops in the first place. Copy. Nah, I'm uh, having a bad fucking near cross street was, week, year, whatever you want to call uh, it, man. It's just fine wood terrible. Drive. Okay. So you have been drinking? RP was stating they were. Nah, I didn't, no didn't say that. <laughs> so if I ask my supervisor over here to give you a breathalyzer, we're not going to find any intoxication on you. You ain't gonna. No, yeah, I am not taking any kind of intoxication bullshit. Yeah. All right, give me one second. Hey, Levi. Yeah. A bunch of alcohol in the vehicle, as well as a bunch of empty alcohol bottles. I'll, uh, I'll box it up. Okay. Hand it over to you. Okay. Sounds good to me. Perfect. Hey, sir. Do you want to do a breathalyzer on this guy, or you want me just to take him in and have him do the blood? Now at 5026, all available units break. Now at 5026, continuing. Subject is ramming RP. <laughs> I don't think Eugene heard me. Up to you, sorry. If, up to you if you want it for your report. It's not really admissible in court, so... Okay. Well, given the fact that we found a ton of alcohol bottles and stuff in there, and the way he's slurring his speech and whatnot, I, bel I fully believe he's intoxicated. Uh, with a deadly weapon. Vehicle well, I think that's the least of his concerns at the moment. Alright, I'll take him down there. Get him, uh, take right, him. I think... I'm gonna have... 
Oh, well, he walked fast. Assault in progress. Using a vehicle. There, five thousand one Bay Tree continuing. Plato nine seven, are you able to break? Yeah. Oh man. Nine David eight three, able to break. Is your name Richard Bowie? Uh. Hey. Yeah, there. All right, Mr. Bowie. Copy this. Well, obviously, uh, you're in my car and Actively handcuffs, so I'm going to list off your set of charges, just so you know. Uh, you're eluding LEO officers. Allegedly. Uh, drunk driving, DUI. Allegedly. And... I can't think of the other one right now at the moment. So those are the only two that I got on you right RP's now. RP's car is a black four-door pickup. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else, I'm sure these officers will let me know if they found anything in your vehicle. They're now at 4018 Sonora Road, westbound 4018 Sonora Road, westbound. Okay. No, like news, maybe that's all illegal and nope. Well, you have every right to fight it in court, so I'm not going to stop you from doing that. But I'm just letting you know what your current charges are at this moment. All right. Go ahead and break me off my call and send it in. Yes, please, please break. Stupid pig there. Hey, sir, I got all the bottles boxed up. Do you want it just in the back of your car? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay, I just stacked him top left corner on all your other boxes. I appreciate that. No problem. Um, you want me to take care of this toe when the radio opens up? Yeah, yeah. If you can get a 51 to take care of this, I'll be fine. I'm gonna take him down to Polito. Okay, you betcha. I appreciate it, man. Can you yep, of course. On the second vehicle, I have a black four-door pickup this year. This is gonna be fun. Oh shit! Little red mark car. I can always add destruction of government property on there if you want to continue kicking my vehicle. I need more units, dude. They both got all the vehicles. Government property, my ass. This is city vehicle. Definitely not. This is a county vehicle. No. David 64 Control, you can show me transporting one to Polito. I can give the unit the air. What was that post slogan? 3032 Joshua Road, both subjects jumped out. Fleet of 96, all attention units re responding. Step it up. And you have the air, Fleet of 96. Fucking big. <laughs> That's alright. You let it all out now. Put my seatbelt on, stupid pig. That's all right. The way that you uh, dislike LEO personnel, I didn't want you to assault me while I was back there. <laughs> Mumbo's out of here. <laughs> oh, God! 
That's all right. Like I said, you continue doing what you want to do. It's just more charges on you. Dave six four, you can show me ten twenty three at Polito. Davis twenty three, Polito. Six four. All right, they're gonna do all your paperwork and yep. booking, and then uh, they'll give you all the paperwork you need for your court case, and whatever you want to refute on this. Um, then they'll release you when you make bond or you do your time. All right. Mm, what's your name and badge number? <laughs> my name is Detective Levi. David six four is my badge number. Mm, I'll be coming for you. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll be waiting when you come out. He's gone. Uh, did you say a 27? That's going to be a fun report there. Oh. Okay, go with 27 first. To do the redeem, you do the exclamation uh, point the and then redeem. Armisen, and last is going to be Henry Adam Robert. And the Mary, Ida, number and for that, or Nora. the only one I have at the moment is and got him. Leah did it just a few minutes ago. Copy and ready for 28. And, uh, yeah. Smoke. The, uh, patrol's still going on. Queen Frank, Queen it's actually ending. I was in the middle of a pursuit when Six, Eugene queen, said it was queen, ending. Queen, zero, zero, so I am going to put my vehicle away. Oop, I just put my seatbelt on. That was dumb. Because I'm about to get out, right? Alright. So, that's where we're at. That dude, man, I'm telling you. He's going to be a fun, fun one to do. It'll be uh, 6200. Zero, zero. The two six seven. That dude went by me four times in this patrol in the last hour and a half. And this last one, boy, he about hit me head on. So body cam footage will be clipped of that. So he's gonna have a fun time with that one. Ocean nineteen control year twenty eight comes back clear valid insured R O is a Zach Harmison. Who is clear valid holding Los Santos negative twenty. 
Yeah, that's nice. So, alright guys, there's that for the night. Um, I am off for the night. Um, since Abbey CQC patrol is coming to an end, everyone else is getting offline right now. Um, I'm going to go to 1042 here in a minute. Um, yeah, next patrol is Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will likely do that patrol, but I will only be on there for like two hours tops um, because I have a late night engagement with uh, hockey. I got a game that night, so definitely going to have to get off a of patrol early, but I will try and do as much of that patrol as I can. Um, and again, that's Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, maybe tomorrow or something. I'm working on getting warrants for some large people up right now. Um, I got a lot of other paperwork I got to get done, so hopefully I can get some. Hopefully I can get some more stuff going on detective wise. Uh, hey Jeff, I appreciate that. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a good night. Next weekend, oh, you taking the week off, or are you back to uh, weekends only? Um, I know I'm trying to get as much time as I can. Control wise I'd like to make Detective 3 um, or my guy grays out and retires <laughs> if you know what I mean who knows maybe even higher um, hey I heard that Jeff sir I uh, used to work nights too and uh, it was a real pain in the butt making all the patrols or most of the patrols I should say but Schedule's opening up a little bit for night, so hopefully I can catch more of these. Um, then I can entertain you lovely people, which is great because I love doing entertainment stuff. But, um, but yeah, so like I said, um, we're going to have patrol Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I should make all three of those patrols. Um, you guys will start seeing me doing a lot more streaming of patrols and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe I can start getting more content up. Control, Trying to find a way to really control, boost the subs, you know, EMS boost the views fire. and stuff like that. Um, trying to get a little more action on there. Also, um, December, um, you too, Jeff. Stay safe, brother, and I will catch you the next time you're on. Um, definitely looking forward to that. I enjoy running with you. LT, you're a great guy. You are the best. Hands down. Um, shoot. I just lost my train of thought. Oh, well. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and make as many of the patrols as I can. Um, like I said, the, the night shift stuff is opening up for me. And uh, definitely looking forward to doing more in here. Um, I'd like to get more engaged you know, especially with the COC stuff, um, I'd like them to kind of see that this is really where I want to be, and hopefully I can help out as much as possible. Like I said, I designed um, a couple different variants of, like, cold weather and rain gear for detective stuff. Uh, just waiting for approval from COC um, on that. Hopefully I can get those approved, because uh, then you guys can see more stuff around here. Uh, definitely building up more cases. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, December 11th. Um, I am, I just got the notification, um, I am going to be on Meet the Gamers, so uh, you guys will see me as a special guest on Meet the Gamers, which will be great, a uh, bunch of great guys in there, um, hopefully I can get all three of the hosts in there with me, um, that would be uh, Criminal Justice, Jeffrey Gamer, and Gaming with Cookies, um, hopefully I can get those guys going. I'm going to try and do at least an hour with them. Um, I do have an engagement later on in that evening, so I may have to only get an hour with them and then probably take off, which really stinks. But I am definitely more than excited to be on Meet the Gamers. Um, that is a big spotlight right there. I'm really hoping that uh, people can understand what I, what I am, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, stuff like that. You guys get a little more about me. Kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a talk show host that asked me about me, and you guys get to know who I am, which would be great. 
So um, if you haven't heard of them, look on YouTube, Meet the Gamers. Um, they've done quite a few of our SLRP members. Um, three, All three of the hosts are in SLRP. Uh, criminal justice is huge in the LSPDFR community. Obviously, Jeffrey Gamer is also huge in there. Uh, he's one of the hosts in Gaming the Cookies. Uh, Matt is one of our deputies here. He's Adam62 on SLRP. Uh, and we just have a lot of great people that come in there. Uh, I know the other guest that's going to be on there with me is, I want to say, Shane uh, from the FD. Uh, so it'll be one LEO, one FD guy. It'll be great. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. And that is at 5 p.m. on the 11th, just so we all are clear on that one. Um, but that being said, um, I know patrol is winding down very quickly. A lot of people are leaving. Um, <clears throat> gosh dang it. Why does it do that? I figured I'd let him know. He's the guy I just arrested. Oh, yeah. David 64 Control. You can clear me off this and show me 10 7 10 42 for the evening. Thank you for dispatching. David 64, you're very welcome, sir. Have a great night. Show me 10 42. So, there we go. Um, Leah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're fine. You know, I'm, uh. You know, I'm okay with guys and everyone jumping in and out of streams. I don't. I don't get mad like some streamers that my viewers keep taking off and coming back in. It doesn't bother me. Um, even my mods, you know, like, really, do do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's there's some big stuff coming up. Um, if you haven't done it, feel free to check out the Discord. Um, I am trying to figure out how to do some recording elements. Um, I'm trying to get more into the... Um, the reactions part of it get some more views that way um i am looking into more gaming stuff i've been playing a lot of world of warcraft the new expansion lately um so gaming stuff has been kind of hit or miss um outside of this so realistically i've been busy but i'm getting more content made on the live stream areas and i'm definitely looking forward to making more stuff for everyone but that being said, on my Discord, if you have any requests for any type of reactions or any type of videos that I can pop up here or whatever you guys want, you know, feel free. Drop it up on the requests Green on my Discord. The primary unit on this stop. Just be advised. I've got the uh, RP here doing a written statement. I'll go ahead and turn that your way. Uh, at the end of night here. Okay. Turn that off. I don't need the radio anymore. I'm already 10 7 10 42. So that's where we're at. Like I said, uh, big things coming up. I'm definitely looking forward to them and cannot wait for things to be hopping and bopping in here you know um of all the people that have been on meet the gamers so far that i know i am i have the lowest uh subscriber count and my subscriber count is 262 as of now yep 262 subs as of right now so i'm a pretty small channel comparatively so i'm hoping i can grow and get more subs, get more viewers, stuff like that. Um, definitely going to be more active for y'all. That way it can be more of a systematic thing rather than a random thing. So, but that being said, like I said, I am off for the night. Um, it was a decent patrol even though I was late. I had three and a half hours of patrol. That's pretty good. So, um, I'm going to take off. Detective Levi is saluting you. Right. Salute you. Saluting all of you. So, on that note, guys, you guys have a great night. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay humble. Talk to someone that uh, you don't talk to as much, you know. Make someone's day, someone's week, someone's month, someone's season, someone's holiday, you know it. Um, just show that little bit of love by, by talking to someone. Call, text, something. Send someone that you don't talk to very much a message. And because uh, all it takes is that one reach out to save someone's life, you know. So on that note, guys, I'm off. You guys have yourselves a great evening. And uh, I definitely look forward to having you guys on Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday and whenever you feel like coming in. So that being said, Tech Levi, sign off.